Hey guys, it's the real Gekinator here, and I am reviewing Halo 3 Series 3 Jackal Major, who is a campaign figure, and they haven't really fixed up the standing issue from the previous Jackal that they made. He will fall 3 out of 10 times, 9 out of 10, I mean, excuse me just trying to stand him up so if you're like trying to make some kind of Halo movie I would not recommend putting these guys in it because they will just tease you with their falling over it's awful uh, I can't remember how many moving parts he has got one in the neck, two for each shoulder Elbows right here, and the shoulder allows his arm to turn around. One in the wrist. His waist can turn back and forth, which quite a lot. A lot more than average action figures can turn. Uh, the hip, the knee. I don't know why I would want to do that, because you can't can't bend it down here. This is all still. So I don't know why you would ever want your jackal to look like this. Is that is that is this sitting down? Is he sitting right now? Sit, jackal. Sit. You know, it sure makes him stand a lot better. Uh, and he's got his feet turn. I think. Oh, they move a little. Again, he's really hard to make stand. Very hard, especially with this top-heavy shield, which, it's a nice shield. I like how it looks. It's red and all crackly. That means it's gonna explode all over him. Goes on his wrist gauntlet. Um, he's pretty detailed. I like him. I like the little spikes all over his head and his elbow. Um, he has holes on the bottom of his feet. I guess that's to, pose, to stand him up on a stand, which he really needs. He should have came with, but he didn't. Uh, he comes with a plasma rifle, plasma pistol, excuse me which I thought my plasma pistol that I got is very very good it's very good painting I'm not sure how I can see that, let me try to get the camera to focus it doesn't want to, come on alright, well it's pretty cool Very, very well detailed and painted, if you could see it. Fits to his clawed little hand. Like that. Um, the paint job was pretty good. I really like the paint job on him. It looks like the real deal, as far as coloring and where the paint should be. But I just don't really like him. He's good to have as a dead body, but not as a live one. He can't even really hide behind his shield. He can hold out to the side like this. Walk by something. If you put pressure, you can put his gun through here. You turn his head and turn his body. It could look like he's hiding behind a shield. But, nah. It's not that great. I wouldn't really recommend this to anyone, unless if you just love jackals and you need a jackal, then yeah, you might get this. You should also try to look for a stand. I think the drone came with a stand? I don't know. You should look for a stand to put him on so he doesn't keep falling. Uh, that's all I really have to say about this. I don't really like him. 
Cry a 1 out of 5, because it keeps falling. That's it for this review. There's nothing else I can say about him. But nothing I can really say good about him right now. Uh, he looks nice. He stands. He's a nice dead body. And he has an awesome wicked shield, which you can't put on any other figures unless if you like super glue it or tape it or something. So, if you want to super glue this to someone's arm, it might look alright. That's that's all. I'm sorry. I just can't really say much about him. Um, he has a peg on his back. Putting what's right here? Putting stuff on his back, and surprisingly, he also has one on his leg. Just put his plasma pistol that he comes with on his leg. Not sure why it's on his right leg, but I don't really care. That's all. Look at other my other reviews, and I'll see you later.